Oh my, <clears throat> my workshop is so messy. Just cluttered, I got junk everywhere. I need to clean this thing. Hidden Woodsman Haversack. Awesome piece of kit. Hidden Woodsman Possible's pouch. Gotta have one of those. I got too much stuff. SOS water bottle. Anyway, so much stuff to go through. But what I wanted to do today is um, is to show you a new bag I got and uh, what I'm going to do with it. And I thought that would be interesting. So stick around. All right. <clears throat> All right, so um, what's today's video about? Well, I couldn't get outside today. I couldn't get out this weekend. It's been nonstop family stuff this weekend. I had my grandson over for the weekend, and we had a really exciting day today. We let him know that he, we're taking him to Disney this summer, and uh, so it was just kind of a big, big, uh, big to do for the family. Had a lot of people over today, and just haven't had a chance to get out. So I thought I'd come down last few hours of the day and spent some time down in the workshop gonna clean up down here and then I wanted to show you a bag that I just got and then what I'm gonna do with it now this was requested by a buddy of mine um, illicit dreams he um, he saw this and he has a very similar bag to mine and he's like I want to see your loadout for it and I said sure I'll do a loadout video no, no problem people enjoy those and I like doing them they're fun it's always fun to see what other people come up with what they carry in a bag and um, since I don't have a lot of time to film today, this is what I'm going to do. Um, so the bag we're talking about here is this. This is the, the Maxpedition Fat Boy Good To Go GTG. Now, Maxpedition does not make these anymore, um, but you can find them online very cheap. I've, I got this for hardly anything. I thought it was a great deal, and I have kind of an affinity for vintage Maxpedition gear. They're not making a lot of the old style stuff anymore. They've all gone to this new ACG line or AGR line, which is okay. I don't care for as much as I like the vintage stuff, so when I found one of these bags on the cheap, um, I found it on eBay. I thought I'd check it out, see what I can do with it. Um, of course, when I show you a loadout video, it doesn't mean you have to have the exact same bag. You can find something that's similar. You can you can go to a Walmart and get a, um, a simple briefcase or a backpack. They have them on the cheap there, or a shoulder bag, and do it fill it the way you want to fill it. This is just what I'm going to do with this bag, and I kind of want to walk through all the things I put inside of it and what my thought process is and see if that'll help anybody who's you know coming up with ideas for different things so the, the nice thing about this bag is that it's small and it only holds so much gear so you can't overload it um, this is like the little brother to the Maxpedition Jumbo which is a much bigger bag really easy to overload can become very awkward um, in when you do overload it so this is a nice bag because it's so small you can only put so much in it and then you're ready to go so let's get into this thing and see what's inside all right like I said small bag only so much stuff I can put in here what am I gonna do with this bag what's the point of it I already have a haversack that I carry when I go bushcrafting when I go out for hikes and stuff so I really don't I'm not really gonna use it for that this is really a bag that I'm, what I'm thinking is, is just going to go in the back of my vehicle and then when I need to, uh, when I need some supplies, it has supplies in it for me, when I need to get out and I want to go someplace when I'm on traveling, I'll have a bag ready to go. I've kind of done videos on different bags I've used in the past and I want something that's really unobtrusive. Um, there's been times when I've been out um, visiting family, you know, they want to go for a hike or something, and I can take this bag out of the back of the, of the vehicle, throw this on, and I've got all the essentials, uh, you know, the, the, the five C's plus um, for any kind of situation that might come up. It's probably a little overkill. Um, uh, certainly there's things I can take out of here if I don't want to carry them and then just leave it open so I can put you know maybe like a light jacket or more food or whatever but for now it's loaded up to the gills with survival type supplies because that's the stuff that I have extra of and you know why not so 
first thing is we've got our water bottle on the side pocket here. Now this water bottle pocket doesn't fit a big 32 ounce Nalgene and it fits a skinnier bottle so I'm going with this vintage uh, I love this it's, it's only probably only 10 years old but it's a Stanley water bottle I don't make these anymore but it's so it's vintage now isn't that kind of funny once you can't get it anymore it's it's a collector's item but I have a couple of those I love those bottles they're great because they have a really cool feature to them you can uh, if I can get it off there we go the top screws off and you have a metal cup and then that way you can boil water it even has graduations on the side so you can tell how much water you're boiling or if you want to cook something so you can actually cook in this stainless steel So we got that water bottle. Always have a water bottle, and since it's stainless, I can cook in it. That's a that's a bonus. Next thing, back pocket. This back pocket's designed for CCW. You can actually put a pistol back here, and I may do that at some point uh, in certain times. But if I'm not carrying a pistol, I definitely want a good solid knife, and there is no better knife than an SE3. You can tell mine's definitely been used. It's a great little knife, and um, you can take a beating, and it's you know all one piece. Great knife. Okay, up here in this front pocket, this is kind of like the quick grab pocket. I've got some lip balm. This is uh, from the Dragonfire Tinderbox Company. They have their own little lip balm. It's their healthy bomb, health, uh, first aid healing bomb, but you use that on your lips if you want to. So that's something I'm going to grab a lot. Go inside, open it up. Front pocket, I've got a write and write notebook. Open this pocket, and I've got a compass, a Silver Ranger. This is the old one. It'll make they don't make these anymore, not like this. We've got a little pocket survival guide. This is the Compact Reference Field Manual from ACW Tactical. Really cool little book. And I've got um, a little magnifying glass in there, and i got my tick identification card. So that's great for hiking. And then on this flap right here, we've got a Sharpie. Got my right marine pen, and I've got Swiss Army knife. That's the hiker model. And then in here, I got a bandana. This actually is a cravat, a military cravat. So it's a triangle bandage. So that does double duty for me. You can use that as a sling. You can wrap that around your neck, cool yourself off. Put on your head as a do rag. Multiple uses. And we've got a military wire saw. Not a huge fan of wire saws. Um, they're okay, but they're better than nothing. You just have to be careful with them, and you really have to really know how to set them up and use them correctly. But they they're definitely great um, for making an improvised bow saw. And cutting wood is always an important uh, chore. Um, when you want to get a fire going quickly. Of course, another um, useful and helpful item is a reflective blanket. This is a nice heavy-duty one. It's a little bit bigger than the standard cheapos that you find. Um, so if someone is going into shock or you're going uh, getting cold and, and you're freezing and you want to wrap up, this is, a, this is something you can do. You can also make a shelter out of it. So definitely double duty on that. Of course, some 550 cord in case I need to tie up a shelter. And a headlamp. <clears throat> headlamp is really an important item. If you got to hike out of an area and it's in the evening, uh, you're going to want a headlamp. A flashlight, you know, is handy, but headlamps are better. And uh, this little Petzl 
Look how small this thing is. It's got its own little case. Runs on a couple watch batteries. And it's very, very bright, but it's very small. It's even got a strobe for, you know, for signaling somebody. It's got a red strobe, red on. So, great headlamp. Might as well, if you're gonna carry one, might as well carry something small. It's the Petzl E Light. And then we get to the heart of the kit. <clears throat> this is the SE Survival Tin. You can buy these empty. And what's great about this is this is chocked full of survival gear, um, but it's also a cook set. I can open this up and cook on this over a fire until I've used it before. It is aluminum, it's not stainless. But I got all kinds of goodies in there. Look at that. And we can go through that stuff right now. Here, I'll, well, actually, let's go through the last pocket and then I'll show you what's inside the tin. And over here is my first aid kit. Just a small kit, not a lot in it. There's um, some sinus medications, some toilet paper, band aids, antiseptic wipes, sting relief. Some uh, I think there's some baby tweezers in there. So there's, you know, just a variety of small things. Good little boo boo kit. All right, now we're gonna go through contents in the in the SE10. This is the Uko matches. They're the big ones. Got these at Walmart. You can find these in the Walmart in the um, uh, camping section. Really nice container. Did a review on match containers in the past video. You may want to check that out. Got a little uh, diamond honing stone for sharpening my knives. Some of these nice fast fire tinder tabs. I haven't tried these yet, so I'm curious how these are going to work out. I'm going to test these out. That'll be our next video. We'll go out with this bag and we'll go through some of this gear, test it out. So maybe leave comments below if you've tried these before and let me know what you think of them. I've got four of those, so that's good for starting a fire. I've got a tea candle. For keeping your inside your shelter warm, or starting a fire with, or just lighting up an area at night. Some uh, cotton that's soaked in wax, so that'll be a good fire starter as well. Duct tape, thousand uses for duct tape. Got a baby Victorinox. This has got scissors built into it, so that's going to be handy. Small sewing kit with thread, needles, safety pins, some steel wire, just picture hanging wire. You can get that at Walmart or any hardware store. ACR whistle, nice and loud. Little mini fishing kit, there's some line in here. There's some little bait, and some hooks, swivels, lead sinkers. This is floral wire, it's good for making snares and other repairs. Horse ferro rod. It's wrapped up with uh, duct tape on the handle of it. Got a striker for it, even though I don't really need it. Flagging tape. Little uh, lighter. I like these lighters that you can see on the inside. 
that way you can tell how much fuel you have. The Bix, you don't, can't really tell how much fuel you have, but so these are kind of nice. At least you can take a quick glance and go, okay, I've got this much fuel left. In here I've got some whirl bags. Those are those little collapsible bags, water purification tablets, and then this little little reflective mirror for signaling. Last but not least, some miniature zip ties. These are nice for making uh, little uh, improvised fishing poles, things like that. Oops. So that's what's inside the tin. All right, so you can see what's inside the bag. That's it. There's, it's pretty much empty now. Um, definitely all the essentials for taking out on a hike or, or whatever. Um, just keeping in my car as a quick kit. Um, getting away from the big backpacks and stuff, keeping those in my car. And those, I'm always afraid they're going to get stolen. And, um, you know, I don't want to carry a huge backpack full of gear if I can help it. So I just need something that I can grab if I want to go hiking uh, with a family member or if I need to get home and I need some survival supplies, I've got them. I mean, it's just, just kind of however you want to, whatever you want to make of it, but this is definitely the smallest kit that I could think of in getting into this bag, and this bag is the perfect size for it. So once again, if you're looking for it, you can find these on eBay, Maxpedition, uh, Fat Boy, Good to Go <clears throat> is what it's called. All right, I hope you found this video useful. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell icon so you can get notifications every time I upload a video. Um, as always, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. The channel's growing. Um, make sure you check out our Facebook group. Um, it is getting very big. It's over well over 600 members right now, um, and it's a lot of fun. A lot of guys are posting up stuff in there, and uh, I post additional content there as far as photos and things I'm thinking about and just a lot of discussions and, and stuff like that going on. Um, of course, Instagram, uh, a lot of photos on Instagram. I've uh, That following's growing pretty well, too. Um, and then just a heads up for anybody who's watching every week, I, there will not be a video this coming next week. Um, I'm going to be having a medical procedure. I'm going to be in the hospital for a few days. So... Um, when I get back and I'm recuperating, I'll start shooting videos again. But for this next weekend, I will not be in, uh, available to shoot video. So this will be it for two weeks. Um, but hopefully I can get back into it as soon as I get out of the, out of the hospital. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.